Now, there's a lot of debate, I think, often uh, rabbinical and pointless over whether humans are unique, whether you know, our language, whether the, the dance of the bees ought to be considered a language, and whether if a crow puts a stick in its mouth, that counts as tool use. Um, and I, I usually stay away from debates over definitions or, or Rubicons or dividing lines. But if you just look at the uh, extent to which humans do humanly uh, unusual things and the collection of them that you all find in one species, you see that we're, uh, we're very unusual. To begin with, um, and most salient to me as a psycholinguist, uh, we talk. I mean, here we are, we're going to sit in this room for a couple of hours just listening to each other make noise as we exhale. Uh, there are very, uh, very few species that would do that. Uh, and language has universally a number of, uh, of rather remarkable properties. We can use arbitrary signs to refer to tens of thousands of objects and actions and places in the world, and we can combine them grammatically so that the uh, meaning of the combination can be computed from the meanings of the individual signs and that the way they're, they're arranged. Uh, but I don't think that language is the only thing that differentiates us from other species. I think if you just grafted language onto a, a chimp, it wouldn't have anything particularly interesting to say. Uh, and uh, so I, I think that, that um, language has to be understood in the context of other uh, weird traits of Homo sapiens. Another one is, obvious one, is our reliance on, on uh, artifacts and technology and tools. Um, you look around, everything that we are now seeing was made by an ensemble of humans. There's n n nothing that's uh, in its natural state in this room. And again, universally, humans uh, not only make and use tools, but they make a, a, and use a variety of them. Each tool is made out of a variety of parts, requires a laborious process of manufacture, and most important, we, we uh, co-evolved with our tools. Uh, if you uh, we, we depend on them for our survival. You take away the technology of uh, any human group and, uh, and it would quickly starve. The third uh, un zoologically unusual trait of humans is that we uh, cooperate with people who aren't related to us, to us. If you were to put several hundred chimpanzees into a room like this, half of them male, uh, then you know, a riot would break out. But, uh, but humans do, uh, in, in addition to the tens of thousands of people that had to cooperate to make all of the things that we see, we sit quietly in order to achieve some, something that benefits all of us. And again, it's very hard to see examples of cooperation for mutual benefit among uh, unrelated organisms. And there are other unusual features of, of uh, like as Dean mentioned, we um, have long helpless childhoods, we have long lives, uh, the males um, invest in their offspring, uh, grandparents invest in their offspring. Uh, we, have very, we have weird sex lives with lots of sex that's not reproductive and negotiated and varying from one group to another in, in its customs. We eat everything. Uh, we're found in every ecological system uh, on Earth from, from the Arctic to the tropics. So there, there's no question that we're a weird species and we need an explanation. Uh, you know, I don't think, uh, I, there are other weird species, it's not an evolutionary miracle. Elephants are weird in their ways, and whales, and blue-green algae, and so on. So I don't think we need uh, anything exotic, but we do have to explain what led to the co-evolution of a number of unusual traits that are all found in the same species.